all right so we are going to just go through some dynamic range test of the Nikon Z9 what we have here is uh, just a bunch of images which I took uh, under different exposures at PSI ISO or, and uh, I purposely shot them under expose by uh, this was the normal exposure uh, by one stop, two stop, three stop, four stop, five stop and so on. So we are going to see how the dynamic range looks like in Nikon Z9. Uh, I have different uh, format of uh, uh, raw file compression. Uh, this was shot at uh, lossless compressed. This was shot at high quality uh, with a star. This was at high quality without star, I believe. Uh, yep. So that's what it is. So we are going to go through the images. But before we do that, I want you to see the details in this. So as you can see. Uh, in the develop module I am I shot this tree at uh, ISO 64 f8 and 125th of a second I use z9 with 2470 f4 lens so this is what the exposure looks like check the histogram I can bump up the ISO if I want but as per I was shooting in aperture priority so I was expert I was assuming that uh, uh, it's uh, the camera shoot the exposure uh, what it thinks it is um, so we started with 125th, 125th, 125th yeah up to here now from this point onwards from this point onwards because till here I have all these first four images having identical EXIF data ISO 64, F8, 125th of the second but the moment I switch over here my uh, uh, shutter speed is increased by one stop so it means that i was shooting one stop under expose so let's check the histogram over here looks fine and i'm choosing this image and i'm increasing the exposure by one full stop so my i increased the exposure over here by one full stop okay i did nothing except i just increased the exposure by one stop check the histogram again now if I go back to the first image which is this one where the exposure was neutral as per camera and I'm checking the next image so as you can see the exposure is identical except I'm a little bit uh, of seeing this uh, <coughs> sorry let me seeing this white balance shift this is much colder this is kind of a warmer but it's okay now the next image is two stop index because as you can see uh, by the shutter speed over here is 1500 instead of 1 one twenty fifth of a second so i'm going to increase the exposure by two full stop and i'm seeing this histogram which is nearly identical like this and the original image like this so this is the original image this is one stop under expose which i recovered over here and this is two stop under expose which is recovered over here now but before moving forward let's compare the original image and the one stop over expose image and compare them side by side so on the left hand side we are having the original exposure which is uh, the shot at zero exposure composition this was shot at minus one exposure composition but recovered in post processing by one stop and if I check closely, check the details, it looks like nothing happened to the file. So one stop is looks pretty fine. All the details and everything. <coughs> <coughs> and even the details in the bushes, all there, top looks really great, especially in this area except it's the plus one exposure which is on the right hand side is kind of a warmer but there are no grains not much nothing everything is tech sharp especially if you if you can see uh, this part 
all the way in the details in the wood it looks fine so that's uh, what it is now this is the this image is two star of expose which was recovered in post processing now i'm going to compare the original image with a two star under expose image and we have to compare side by side so on the left hand side we are having original image and on the right hand side we are having uh, the image which is shot at under uh, two star under expose and now it's recovered in post processing so let's go and check the details oh like it's nothing happened it's just exactly looks like the one star under expose image literally same white balance everything is stack sharp so two stop under expose and one is stop under expose image looks identical you know when you increase the exposure uh, when you try to recover the exposure in post processing you usually see grains in the in the shadow area in the dark area i can't see anything literally if i go over here in the dark area i can't see anything that there is many kind of noise actually this looks much cleaner than this one i don't know let's see let's go to the third image this is the third image which is shot at three stop under exposure you can see with the shutter speed uh, which is uh, the previous shot was taken at 1 500 and the next shot is one over thousand so this shot is uh, under exposed by three stop and i'm going to increase the exposure by three stop and here we go check the histogram and let's check the histogram of minus two minus one and this is zero so zero minus one minus two minus three and uh, now i start seeing a little bit of noise over here in the sky but in the tree trunk nothing let's compare with the original image so this was the original image this is minus three stop under expose let's compare so on the left hand side we have original image and the right hand side we have um, image which is recovered by minus three stop under expose and you can verify this thing by the shutter speed over here this is this was taken at 1000 of a second this was taken at 125th of a second so uh, let's compare side by side now we start getting a little bit of grain in the sky and if we go into the details especially in this part yeah this looks a kind of a cleaner this is kind of a little grain here which can easily be fixed in post processing but we are talking about minus three stop under expose image which is not easy we are over here we are having grain this is cleaner so now you start getting some noisy performance but we have to keep one thing in mind that we are talking about minus three stop under expose image on the right hand side let's go and see uh, this uh, next image which was shot at one two thousand of the second uh, the shutter speed and this is minus four stop under exposure image so i'm going to recover this image by four stop and here you go so as you can see plus four and by the way if i check plus four and plus three this is plus three and this was at plus four so if i'm going to take these two image side by side so on the left hand side we are having an image which was uh, taken at minus three a stop under expose on the right hand side we have image which is shot at minus four stop under expose so let's compare these first and see how it goes ah, okay we start seeing some color shifting in the sky on the minus four stop under expose it's much more greenier it is really greenier we are start seeing it but this even this image on the right hand side is still usable using any photoshop tool or any uh, kind of uh, uh, noise reduction software you can easily suppress this noise and use this image and i'm comparing uh, 
uh, minus 3 stopper wave or minus 4 stopper under exposed on the right hand side and on the left hand side we have minus 3 stop under exposed image now we are going, going to compare this with the original image so this and this let's compare oh, sorry let's compare the one not this and this okay let's compare so on the left hand side we are having original image taken at 125th of a second and on the right hand side we are having image which is underexposed by four stops and you can verify this thing by the shutter speed and now we are going to see the performance side by side so obviously we are seeing noise over here because uh, software is basically trying to recover the detail uh, artificially by boosting the signal uh, boosting the signal for in the raw which yeah, it gets from the raw file so but even at this point of time it's still usable we can use the software we can suppress the noise we can fix the color and still can use this it's not that the pixel art you know just you know, the whole image is pixelated no nothing it's still usable wow that's great that's really great okay last let's go by uh, this image this image was taken at 4000 obviously this image is uh, underexposed by five stops so i'm going to go for five stop under expose and uh, let's compare with four stop under expose image side by side so on the left hand side we are having image which was shot at 2000 shutter speed which is minus 4 stop under exposed on the right hand side we are having image shot at 4000 shutter speed which is under exposed by 5 stop now this is crazy i just recovered the whole image by 5 stops and yes at 5 stop under exposed i am seeing white balance shift but you can see over here it is not like anything uh, it's still usable if yeah the details are quite messy at my minus five stop even minus four stop looks much better on the left hand side uh, the image is pixelated but the details are still intact which is incredible so the raw file contains which is this is high efficiency raw star and this file still take still contains a lot of data uh, which you can see you can push this raw file into a, a, a topaz denoise and topaz uh, ai sharpening tool and we can use this image so let's compare this uh, image by uh, the original this is the original image and this is the image by minus five stop let's compare obviously on the left hand side we are having image which was taken at xerox exposure uh, compensation like it was uh, perfectly exposed as per camera meter on the right hand side we are having minus five stop under exposed image which is recovered but the details that you are getting in even in minus five stop is incredible like literally so here you go if i go over here this is original exposure minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five by the way if i go to minus one and i look to this area over here and just try to see the exposure and the white balance over here so focus on this area uh, over here so this was yeah. this is original image oh it goes like this wait and this is my minus one stop this is by minus two stop this is by minus three stop this is by minus four stop 
and this was by minus five stop so minus five stop minus four stop minus three stop minus two stop my minus one stop and this is the original so let's go through one by one more time so this is original exposure this is by minus one just check details over here over here and over here this is by minus two it looks exactly like minus one this is by minus three till here things are very much in control this is by minus four even minus four looks pretty darn good over here this is by minus five so minus five is completely gone we are having too much shift of color too much shift of white white balance which is obviously we can see over here but we are talking about minus five stops under exposure image which we are trying to fix in lightroom so this is minus five this is minus four this is minus three this is minus two this is minus one and this is original exposure so here it is the dynamic range performance test of the nikon z9 and if anybody wants to see uh, where the z9 is customize and check <laughs> so let's go all done so here you go z9 with this camera and taking this exposure and all that so thank you very much for watching this video uh, this was a kind of a quick test of uh, showing how the nikon z9 uh, raw file where we are we can pull up the exposure by minus one stop minus two stop minus three stop minus four stop and minus five stop which is really crazy. So thank you and I'll see you guys in some other video. Bye.